I'm gonna give this uh, Progresso a taste. That's pro I'm probably gonna taste these over the next few days because I don't wanna eat much of this at once. And I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna taste it and uh, I may split it up amongst my dogs. You know, mix it in with their dry dog food. That way somebody benefits from it. All right, let me uh, get this in the bowl and heat it up. I'm going to do it in the microwave. It's going to be gray for the next several days. No sun. All right. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it really does look like beef stew. It's just that the liquid is a little thinner than what you would find in what I've come across in the cans beef stew. A lot of potatoes, decent amount of carrots, some green beans. And of course, fake meat, which blows my mind that, uh, who, how, how long they've been doing this to us, you know? Has nobody else noticed? I'm sure there's some people that noticed. But, uh, oh, and I just blocked some douchebag know-it-all. You know who you are. And uh, this, this is just an experiment to see what tastes good. And it wasn't till halfway through the experiment that I realized that the ingredients in these things are crap. And uh, I don't need you to tell me what I need to do. So, yeah, you're gone. Don't come back. And uh, I got a feeling you know you're a douchebag and you're probably a douchebag and you get run off from every channel you comment on. So have a nice life. Anyway, I'm going to give it a taste here. Well, I don't know how they make. Although this didn't say textured vegetable, it said hydrolyzed soy. And from what I understand, that's how they raise protein contents. So who knows, maybe this is real meat. It's actually pretty good. Uh, the sodium content is through the roof. Yep, this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. If you can just get out of your mind the, uh, uh, you know, adulteration they do to the, the, the food before they put it in a can. And when I was a kid, I ate a lot of beef stew out of the can. Didn't eat more. And it was real meat. Of course, that's, you know, nearly 50 years ago. 45 anyway. 47. It's all right. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, you know, got plenty of, plenty of faux meat. That's what it is, it's faux meat. Meat from the faux animal. Is that an onion? I believe that's an onion. I'm gonna eat that. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, you know, the sodium will kill you. And the fact that they put the vegetables in uh, hydrochloric acid just blows my mind. But that's all. Um, and over the next few days, I'll try them. Okay, you and the other dogs, this will be yours. It's here, it's here, it's here. Boy, I tell you what, I ordered a lot of stuff. That is to keep that battery charged up. I'm going to put it up on the roof and it's got comes with a charge controller and this is the cb that's going to go on my gator here's the antenna a little three footer coax a uh, spring mount there's the mount external speaker swr meter and wait till you see this tiny little cb Come on. I've never seen a CB this small, and I did a lot of research before I finally bought it because uh, I just wanted to be sure that it was going to work.
That is a CB radio. This is called the President Bill FCC. It even has a USB charger. That is a CB radio. And uh, in two seconds, I'm gonna have it hooked up to my battery and my coax, and we're gonna give it a radio check. How about a radio check, Channel 19? Is this thing getting out? I appreciate it. Can you believe that? That, I'm telling you, that is just blowing my mind, something that small, being a full-fledged 40-channel CB. Okay, well, I have some projects ahead of me. That is getting mounted in the gator. Uh, that is going on the roof. This is a bag full of wires and connectors. And uh, I'm putting an external speaker on it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it up on that gator just cause it's gonna be kind of fun. And uh, I'm gonna have to make some brackets to hold this up on the roof. But uh, I gotta do that pretty quick too. So we'll see you soon. That's uh, what I'm gonna be doing next. I mean, uh, you know, amongst making knives. I might get uh, started on the CB this weekend. That's how much money I will be getting uh, at the end of the month. And I just wanted you to know that I am still doing cool stuff with the money I'm getting from Amazon, and people uh, people are really hurting. The money's getting tight, and there's a lot of people in our country suffering without jobs and uh, not enough money. So I just, you know, I hate to sound preachy. It's just not me. Uh, but if you have some extra, you know, think of somebody that can use a little and share what you have. Don't forget to be uh, charitable. Uh, the money I get from Amazon, I still do good stuff with it. But uh, I don't, you know, it's not a video type of thing. I wouldn't do videos about it. I just wanted you to know that when you shop through my Amazon link, that money does good for some people somewhere. <laughs>